and world champion George Cambosis Jr. and his American opponent Devin Haney meet right here for the first time before they meet in the boxing ring this Sunday, June 5 at Marvel Stadium for the winner takes all, undisputed, unified, world lightweight champion title. My name is Jared Middleton and I'll begin today by acknowledging the Wurundjeri people, the traditional owners of the land that we gather on today and pay our respects to their elders past, present and emerging and Aboriginal elders of other communities who may be here today. Thank you all for joining us for this significant first face-off event who will emerge the mental victor from their first meeting here today before, of course, they meet in the ring on Sunday, a significant event here in Melbourne. And events such as these do not happen without event partners and sponsors. So thank you to Visit Victoria and Melbourne for your wonderful support in bringing this phenomenal event to the city. Thank you also to Culture Kings for hosting us in your epic store here and being the official apparel partner of Cambosis Jr. versus Haney. Thanks also to Tab, the official betting partner of this major fight. And thanks also to Crypto Spend, our cryptocurrency partner. Here in Melbourne at Marvel Stadium, Sunday, June the 5th, Australia's unified lightweight world champion George Cambosis Jr. will put four of his championship belts on the line, the WBA, IBF, WBO and Lineal Ring Magazine world titles against American Devin Haney, holder of the WBC belt for the undisputed unified championship of the world. It's been six months since Cambos has shocked the world to capture all those belts against Teofimo Lopez in New York in one of the sport's biggest upsets in recent memory. And it's been five years since George Cambos Jr. has fought on Australian soil. Now the undefeated superstar is hellbent of winning the only title that he doesn't hold, Haney's WBC World Lightweight Championship, and in front of his home fans, a dream he's held since he was a boy. This is one of the biggest fights in world boxing and the biggest fights in Australia this century. And it's coming to you live on Foxtel's main event in KO. And of course, tickets are on sale now at ticketech.com.au. This event is brought to you by DeBella Entertainment in association with Top Rank, Ferocious Promotions, Devon Haney Promotions, Juco Events and TEG Sport. Well, it's now time to welcome the undefeated and WBC World Lightweight Champion all the way from Las Vegas in his first trip to our shores. Please welcome Devon, the Dream, Haney. <laughs> Welcome to Melbourne, Australia, Devon. And now, not to keep you all waiting, please welcome The Ring Magazine, WBO, IBF and WBA lightweight world champion and WBC franchise champion. 20 fights, 20 wins, 10 knockouts. George, ferocious, Cambosis. Yes, that's where we hold them. This is where we fight.
Thank you both here. George, starting with you, six months ago, Madison Square Garden. Tell us how your life has changed since that night. I became more obsessed. That's what happened. I became a champion and realised I love this sport more than anything in the world. So I'm very uh, blessed to be here. I made this happen. If it wasn't for me, this wouldn't be happening today here. And uh, bring on June 5th, this Sunday. And Devon, you have an opportunity to become the undisputed world champion. What does that mean to you? Uh, this means everything. This is a dream come true of mine since a, since a young kid. This is the biggest achievement of, 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 of boxing. And uh, I can't wait for June 5th to come. Why are you confident you can dethrone this man, George Cambosis? Uh, because there's nothing that he could do in the ring that's better than me. Um, and I will show it on, on fight night. Um, I take, I take nothing away from him. I think that he's a good fighter, but I just think I'm on a whole different level. For Australian fans who haven't seen much of you, what style can we expect from you? Uh, it's, it's for me to show on fight night. Um, I got many different styles. I make adjustments. There's many, thing, many different things I can do in the ring. But um, on, on the fight night, we have a game plan, and uh, it's going to work. First time in five years that you fought at home, George. How significant is this fight in your career? It's great to be back home. Five years of hard work. Everyone knows the story. I'm about to go through every bit of adversity. I've had to earn my belts. Earned them the hardest way. Not like this guy. I got given a present. I earned mine. I took the best out. So uh, it is great to be back home. Great to have the support. I know that uh, stadium is going to be buzzing with my support. But I just love to fight. It's me and him in there, in that ring. So. It's a great moment, great moment in Australian boxing, and uh, I'm very excited. Incredibly, despite your achievements, I look at uh, the bookies. Tab has a dollar seventy favourite here. You're two dollars twenty outsider. Do you feel that perhaps you don't have the respect you deserve? It's okay. I've been underdog my whole career. I was never meant to be here, so uh, I keep turning up. I am the top dog. I am the top guy. So uh, no problem. You can have me whatever odds, just like I was in the Lopez fight, and I will handle business this Sunday. Devin, uh, you know, there's been some good banter between the two of you. I've seen you having a few pot shots at each other on social media and uh, when you had the video conference uh, a month or so ago. Now that you see George for the first time, what do you see? The same George that uh, I've, I've, I always see. Uh, he's nothing but an a, a actor. He's, he's put on an act, a, a facade. But at the end of the day, um, I take nothing away from him. I have, Just like my know, actor would like this. I have respect for him. And uh, I look forward to sharing the ring with him and um, putting on a good fight for the fans. A, a good fight for the fans it will be. And, and George, the fact that you know, you're Greek Australian, we know uh, how prominent the Greek community he, is here in Melbourne. What part did that play in your decision to choose to fight here? Yeah, look, it's very important coming back to Australia to defend all my belts, the belts that I earn here in Melbourne. Had to do it here. Beautiful stadium, beautiful people. And my Greek population, my Greek people, obviously my Australian people, is amazing. So uh, it's great that everyone's here. Everyone's going to be at the stadium. Unfortunately, as we all know, Devon's father, Bill, is not here at the moment. And again, I have tried my best to help that situation, but that's on them. Okay. But I really you don't know. I really don't you know how haven't. they let this guy into the country, to be honest. I don't think they let informants into the country. This guy is an informant. This guy is a rat. I'll tell you why. I will tell you why. Because in the TFMA Lopez fight against a foreigner, his own countryman, he was messaging me, telling me all the details, every bit. Tia at the hooker lounge. Tia having problems with his wife. This is the kind of person. This, this is the kind of person. This is this is a rat. This is a rat. This is a snitch. This is an informant. And you know what? This is. Your countryman, your own countryman, you're going behind his back. So you know what? On Sunday, I'm going to whip your ass. And you know when you get back to Las Vegas, you'll be on the lookout for uh, the local team for my Lopez. Because he'll be looking for you too. Trust me. And if you don't believe me, I'll put it out to shut off this presser. Yes or no? What's the truth? Yes or no? That's a rat. That's a rat. That's a rat. Is that a rat? That's a rat. That's an informant. That's a rat. That's a rat. That's a rat. That's an informant. That's a rat. That's a what was the consequence? Yes or no? Were you, not, were you not ratting on your own country? What was the consequence? Were you not ratting on your own country? I had both sides of it. If you, he won, I would fight Tio. 
If you win, I would have fought you. But were you not ratting on your own countrymen? Yes how, or no? Did you is not first rat? message what me? The, you, do you know the definition of this a guy rat? acts like a gangster here, and that gangster is as fake as that belt. Okay, this guy in that gangster. Why did you bring rat? The This is informal. You know what? You didn't get to see him because you missed the first press conference. You didn't get to see him. You'll see him when you want on Friday, and that's the closest yeah, you, you get to him. Show me that fake G bill. Where's that fake bill that you re Show me. It's very beautiful. George, uh, really met that one. George mentioned your father, Devin. How difficult has it been and has it affected your preparation not having him here? Um, yeah, things have definitely uh, been different without my father here, but um, the show must go on. You know, this is a dream of mine, like I said, um, and uh, I wasn't going to um, turn it down for, for nothing. Uh, my dad, he, he installed the, the right things into me that uh, I'm ready. And uh, on fight night, I will show it that uh, my father isn't here, but I'm not leaving without those belts. And, and this is your first fight outside of uh, America and Mexico. How difficult has that adjustment been, coming here and fighting, I guess, in such a foreign land for yourself? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I haven't stepped in the ring yet, so we can't say. But um, other, other than that, the preparation has been uh, great. I've been getting a lot of love from the fans here. And uh, I can't wait to fight. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, it's it's um it's a uh, it's it's different. This fight feels different for me. It's it's, it's something that I really can get up for, and uh, you know um, I just can't wait. How can Australian fans support you, George? And, and give us an idea of the support you've had, uh, particularly since you've come back home after your, your victory at Madison Square Garden. I think the support is uh, evident already. It's a setup. The fans, the support of, of both my countries, are there. I feel it every bit, wherever I go, they can't wait to see me handle business on Sunday. So to fight for both my countries and give honour to my countries means the world to me. I die for my country, they die for me. I respect every person in my country. I never turn my back on anyone in my country. So uh, not like this guy, but me, my country, I die for. How much have you had to tweak preparations to fight Haney specifically? What's unique about him? We brought in uh, some very good sparring partners, but the guy likes to run, he likes to move, nothing special. The holes are there. He's been hurt by an old pensioner in Linares. He was hurt by a little featherweight bantamweight in JJ Diaz. I was there ringside. I nearly fell asleep, to be honest, because it was that boring. But um, look, Sunday, I get to step inside them ropes and punish this guy. And you'd have to say the biggest fight, certainly in Australia, since the 2017 Jeff Horn Manny Pacquiao fight. Just on the world stage though, George, uh, how big will it be? How big is this going around the world? Yeah, this is huge. This is on, uh, obviously, main event, KO Sports here on pay-per-view, ESPN free to air over in the US. And it's amazing. This, look, this is what the sport's about. I made this happen. I chose the, the, the biggest fights possible. I took the AT from my Lopez, obviously this guy. Everyone knew that I was prepared to fight Lomachenko. That was done. He couldn't make it because of his war. No problem, Devin. I'm going to step up, step up. And he did. Okay, but he was forced into this. He is not my mandatory. He is not. Are you my mandatory? Are you my mandatory? Are you my mandatory? The government wouldn't have put up the money if it wasn't against me. The government had the money ready for Lomachenko. Me or Loma? Me or Loma? The government was ready with Lomachenko. And then Loma couldn't fight, so then you had to pick me. No, incorrect. I could have fought anyone. I could have fought the garbage man outside if I wanted to, but I chose you. You are not my mandatory. I picked you. So you know what? You're here, and everything. He's going to go on Sunday. Man, when is the app going to stop? <laughs> when is that shit going to stop, bro? If we can see right through it, bro. Just be you. That's all you got to do is just be you. I've never changed. I've never changed. Fuck the Lopez, actor, bro. The, right. the Lopez, the Lopez uh, conference, exactly the same. You know acting. what? You're acting. Beautiful. I'd rather be an actor than a rat. I'd rather be an actor than a rat. You don't know the definition of a rat. It'll snitch. Yeah, go look at the picture and have a look it up. All right. Well, we're getting close Thanks to where we can settle this in the ring on Sunday. But uh, you've been, you know, Melbourne for, for a few days, a couple of weeks. Tell us about how you're enjoying being in this city and the, the sights you've got around to. Honestly, I haven't seen too much. I've just been so focused on training, resting, covering. Um, I'm so focused on the fight that I don't care to see much. But uh, after the fight, then then we'll see. But as of now, it's a... It's a from what I saw, it's a, it's a beautiful place. It reminds me a lot of uh, where I was born in San Francisco, um, in like the like the downtown area. So it's nice, and uh, I look forward to uh, making history on uh, June fifth here in Melbourne. Okay, we've got an opportunity now. Any of the media here, we've got a couple of microphones on each side. If anyone would like to, uh, to ask a question or two of George or Devin, uh, now's your opportunity. So if anyone would like to, just uh, 
Uh, microphone over here, please. And go for it. Oh. Uh, George, um, Melbourne, Marvel Stadium, in your wildest dreams throughout this whole journey of yours, could you ever imagine um, a sellout in one of the big stadiums in Australia? Yes, I've manifested it for many years. I said it before the Lopez fight that I'll fight, win all these belts and bring them back home in the stadium for So yes, everything I have said has come true. I manifest it, I believe that, and, and this is beautiful to be here in Melbourne, Marvel Stadium, sell out, my people, their champion. We saw the reaction at the Aussie Open with the, the, the Greek fans. Are you sort of um, going to expect that times by 100, I guess, on, uh, on Saturday? Times by 50,000. <laughs> It's going to be incredible. You know, the, the support from uh, the Greek community has been amazing. The support from the Australian community has been amazing. And, you know, I cannot wait for Sunday. Mel? Uh, Devin, hi. Uh, I just wanted to hear a little more about how your training's been going without your dad uh, at your side. Um, you know, he's still, I saw your FaceTiming him the other day, like how much input he's, he's having. And, and can you also tell us about your relationship with, um, is it Yoel? Yoel uh, how, you know, He's obviously stepped in to help to help out. Yeah, um, my dad has been, you know, coaching me from from the phone as much as he can. But at the end of the day, you know, me and you all have getting our have me and you all me and you all have been getting our chemistry together and uh, you know um, doing our thing together. You know, because my dad obviously can't be there, so um, everything has been going great. Uh, I feel ready. Um, it's it's okay that my dad can't make it because. Uh, we're ready to go. Me, me and Yoel and my team, I have a great team around me, great team of coaches that have been training me for uh, a while now. So this won't be nothing new. Um, this is something that that um, I've still got the same people around me. The only person that's missing is my dad. And i got a great team around me, and we're ready to go. Have you ever given up on him coming? Is, is, is he still like trying to get him into the country? Or yeah, um, we're still working to get him in. Uh, but... I don't know. We, it's not really looking like he's going to be able to, but hopefully I'm still praying on it and uh, hoping that he can. But uh, it is what it is. And just one more. If there's any uh, government officials watching this, let the man in. I'm serious. Let him in. I want no excuses. Let the man in. It's his, it's his son. Let the man in. There's no problem with it. I'm tr trust me, there is no issue with his father being there. Let him. I've got my father here. If you don't knock it off. <laughs> Actually, George, how would it be if you didn't, you know, if you didn't have your dad, didn't have your trainers, uh, your, your regular cancer around Look, you? I've been doing it for five years. I've been going overseas, fighting for little money, for no bills, trying to get, my, trying to get my, my, my shot. This guy comes for one trip, and I want to get the violin now for him, getting millions of dollars, <laughs> making a lot of He's getting a, a short end of this thing. This guy's getting millions of dollars, getting an opportunity to get all these, the, the, a shot at the belts. These belts, I went and earned these belts. I, I went and earned these belts against Tifa my Lopez. So, uh, look, unfortunately, it is what it is. I'm so zoned in, I'm so focused on uh, June 5th this Sunday. Uh, first question for Devon, uh, Australian Boxing Central here. Devon, how are you going? Uh, thanks so much for joining us today. Just wanted to ask you about your training camp here in Australia. Obviously, your first time outside of the States. What's it been like? Where have you been training? And, what have you been up to? Can you describe the experience? Yeah, um, training has been great. Team Ellis have, you know, took me on and, you know, and treated me like family. So I thank them for, for that. Um, man, um, it's been going as, as planned. Everything has been going just like it will be going back in the States. Um, I feel so ready. Um, we made adjustments to, to, you know, being out here. But other than that, man, it's, it's great. Um, I'm ready to go. Thank you so much. And a question for both of you. This is the first time in the lightweight division's history that the division can be unified. Uh, it just goes to show the champions or their teams often are reluctant to fight each other, yet you men are sitting here about to make history. Is there a degree of respect between the two of you because of that fact? All I got to say is, why didn't he bring the belts to the press conference? You don't get to see him. You don't get to see him. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Sam. What was the point of even coming if you didn't bring the belts? Hey, well, you know what? Course. You missed out. You missed out. When you, are we, uh, are we fighting for the belts? Australia? Did the government put the money up for the belts? Did all the media come out because this is an undisputed fight between and two and champions? Send, Why wouldn't you bring the belts? The official press conference clown? On Friday. On Friday, they'll send at the official press conference, but I ain't gonna, uh, gonna let a rat see him today. He ain't seen him today. And final question for you, George. There are a lot of stars 
in the lightweight division. We saw Tank fight yesterday. He got the win. Uh, Garcia, there's many other fighters in the division that are big stars across the world. Do you think Devin Haney, the man sitting across from you, is the best opponent you can fight? He's a guy with a half a piece that he parades around, so that's what I want, that's what I will take on Sunday. That's the reason he's here. I'm the only, I'm the only guy that signed up for, the, for this. No, none, of, none of the other fighters were forced signed into up. It. How was I forced into it? Tell me. Okay, well, what a phenomenal <laughs> event this will be. Uh, Thank you, everyone, for your questions. So, Cambosis Jr. versus Devin Haney, undisputed, Sunday, June 5, Marvel Stadium here in Melbourne, live on pay-per-view in Australia on main event, NKO. Corporate hospitality is on sale right now through vipnow.com.au. Travel packages also on sale via Keith Prowse Travel, kpt.com.au. And GA tickets are on sale now. You can get them at ticketech.com.au to avoid disappointment. Now, uh, we've also got uh, Western Bulldogs star Bailey Smith here, who's uh, excited to have a chat with uh, people who want to talk about uh, the fight on Sunday, of course. But uh, right now, we're going to just get the fighters to stand up. We're going to remove, uh, remove the uh, stools here and uh, have our first face-off, George Cambosis and Devin Hayding. And following this pick, ladies and gentlemen... We'll break away for one-on-ones. Tickets on sale at Ticket Tech. The event will screen, screen live on Fox Hill's main event in KO, 9 a.m. Sunday, June 5. Thank you for coming. amongst the street art. And thank you again to everyone for coming this morning. This has been presented by Debella Entertainment. We'll see you all Sunday, June 5 at Marvel State. Okay, when you get your boat for a, for a photo outside, George and Devin. He's scared. He's scared. Thank you, gentlemen. If we can get you both outside just for a photo opportunity, that would be fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, Devin. Thank you, George. Get that work, Get that work. Okay, gentlemen, if we can please come outside for a photo opportunity. George, Devin, if we can please come outside. Okay, George and Devin, if we can please come outside for this opportunity. Thank you, George. Thank you, David. Time to come outside, please, gentlemen. Yeah, we can just get all our media just to give the boys a path just through to the to the entrance here, so we can uh, get our photo opportunities done and dusted. But uh, thank you all for coming this morning. You take it to Bella from me. Yeah. You take it to Bella from me.
George and Devin, can we come outside, please, and just uh, continue this photo opportunity? We're trying to get up a where? Skills, 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 skills. Don't worry, guys. Don't stop. 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 Don't st